This is video 18 of 101. This video is about kitchen supplies. So you've got your cooking utensils, you've got your pots and pans, you've got your bulk food, you've got all of your ingredients ready to go. You're cooking and it's awesome. There's just a couple things that you might want to keep in mind to have on hand when you're cooking to make things a little bit easier. I love to have tin foil to use for simple baking, lining oven sheets for wrapping potatoes and for baking vegetables as well. Uh, it's also great in place of like a plate. Sometimes when I'm making a sandwich, I just like to pull out a little sheet of tin foil, make my sandwich on there so I don't have to dirty up a plate. Tin foil is also reusable. Um, I reuse my tin foil a couple of times before I throw it out. Of all food wraps, tin foil is the strongest barrier and it is recyclable. Having cloths on hand is awesome for wiping up things. I like to have a dishcloth for just wiping my hands and also um, a microfiber cloth that will help with cleaning. Making sure you're keeping these clean, you're not using them for too long. Um, you know, they're great, they're reusable and washable. So I like to just, I like to update them every week or so. I know there's the whole debate, you know, do you use a cloth or do you use paper towel? For me, I use both. I use my cloth when I just need to dry my hands, but I also like to have paper towel on hand when I know I need to clean something that I don't want to run the risk of having any kind of leftover washcloth dirt get onto. So like when I'm drying dishes or I'm drying my cutting board, I always use paper towel to dry that because I know that this is definitely clean. There's no bacteria on it. You've seen this before, but having a knife sharpener is extremely important. This is just a cheap one, but they can run up to $50 if you want to go that expensive. This one was, I think, like 15 bucks. You don't need to go fancy. Something simple. This is all you need. But there are ones that kind of have stabilizations. If you have more professional knives and you want to get a really fancy one, that's totally cool too. I have chopsticks because I eat a lot of sushi. I've got batteries in case I need them for any kind of appliance or just to have on hand in general. I like to have an X-Acto knife in my kitchen as well. Something just super small in case I have to open any kind of packages or something like this, perhaps. You know, you might need an X-Acto knife to open. This is an automatic can opener. I haven't even opened it yet because I haven't even used any cans since I've moved in here. But getting a can opener is a super essential tool to have because opening cans is definitely something you're gonna need a can opener for. Having a corkscrew or a bottle opener is also something you might want to have in your kitchen supplies drawer. You can also have barbecue lighters and notepads and pencils, have your recipe cards in there. I bought this really cool sushi kit. It comes with chopsticks and soy sauce containers and even a mat to make sushi on. So there's little fun supplies that you can always buy. I go to Canadian Tire to buy everything. I love Canadian Tire. Um, obviously it's probably only in Canada. Finding a hardware or living store around in your area usually will give you the best bet for finding an inexpensive, massive variety of cooking and kitchen supplies. What's in your kitchen drawer is totally up to you. This is what I have in my kitchen drawer here. Let me know what you have in your kitchen drawer. One note about these drawers is that they can get messy very easily. Sometimes these can be called the junk drawer of your kitchen. It's very beneficial to make sure that you're going through these and taking out things that you're not using. If you haven't used it in a year, you're probably never going to use it. Tossing those things out, giving them to Goodwill, giving them to a friend to borrow. It's very essential to make sure that your kitchen supplies drawer does not become your junk drawer.